What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. The wait's over. If you watched my last video, my mega huge lobster video, if you watched it all the way through when we got back to our house, you saw we had something huge in the camera. You saw Kelly's eyes light up. But what you didn't see is what it was. And you heard me talk about PB's personal best. I broke so many of them in North Carolina, it was not even funny. But one of them in particular is a giant hogfish. Hog snapper. They're not even a snapper, they're a rasp. Kelly loves to shoot them. We grew up shooting them. Now, when we went up there, we got in and Jason and I shot big gag grouper, more lobsters. We didn't shoot them, we caught them. We caught more huge lobsters than I've ever seen in my life. We did shoot a few hogfish, but none of the big ones. But Chris and Steve, and then the second day, Steve and Jason, the other Jason, wrecked the giants. Every time they went down, they would shoot them. Meanwhile, Jason and I would go down and there would be a ton of big lobster. So finally, at the end of the day, we actually, the only reason we went down on this spot was Jason and Steve went on it first and saw this mega giant hogfish and came up and said, you guys got to go back down. So watch this dive. It's actually one of the deeper dives I've ever done on one of the most amazing spots I've ever went down on. And I'm sure y'all are going to love it too. So let's go diving. Before we go and hunt this giant hogfish, I got to take a minute and tell you a little bit more about Helix Sleep. They make premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs and they conveniently ship them straight to your door. Now when it comes to ordering a mattress, everybody's different and Helix knows that. They made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preference to make the perfect mattress for you. Now based on my results, they match me perfectly with the Helix Midnight Lux. How convenient, Kelly Young's on YouTube. Pretty cool, she leaves Finley in the crate and when she leaves, she puts herself on YouTube so Finley gets used to her voice. Now I already know what you're thinking, you can go anywhere and get a mattress. Well, that's not really true. You can go get a mattress, but you can't get one like this. If you go to helixsleep.com slash bluegabe and take the online quiz, they will make you one just like this that fits your needs and her needs. With their online quiz and with fuel prices the way they are, not only will they make a mattress perfectly designed for you and her, they'll deliver it right to your door. And the cool thing about that is you don't have to waste any of your hard earned money on gas, especially with how high gas prices are now, and you don't have to hurt your back going to get this huge mattress. They'll bring it right to you. <sighs> now I've had my new Helix for about, I think six months to be exact. You get a 100 day sleep trial when you purchase one of these beds and a 10 year warranty with finance options and payment plans. Go to helix.com slash bluegabe for up to $200 off your Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Free shipping within the US. Oh, feels so nice.
<laughs> yeah, there he is. Nice. This is probably the most undeserving fish I've ever shot. <laughs> Steve and the other Jason sent us down to get him. Then the other Jason spots him and lets me shoot him. But I am very appreciative to all. Look at that. Damn, what a good one. That's a good. Now, one of the cool things about hogfish is just how big their mouth gets look at that that's crazy. not me doing anything crazy that's just what it does that's it's like it's got to have the biggest mouth pound per pound Wait, is as that? any fish what is it oh parasite oh my gosh it's so crazy look at that thing i've never seen one this big babe you teeth. know what the crazy thing is four teeth is they shot like four other hogfish bigger than this one Jeez. But I'm not complaining because it's my biggest hogfish ever. Oh, his tooth fell out. Souvenir. I wonder why that, that's pretty neat. It looks like your dog's teeth, except for that one's a lot duller. <laughs> True. Look at that thing. It literally looks like it's mounted right now. Huge. Hello. Look at that. Jeez. Now this shot right here, this fish was getting ready to leave. Jason actually wanted me to shoot way earlier than I did, but I had just shot another fish, so I had just got done reloading my gun. I didn't have my shot cord wrapped up when I saw Jason shine his light at me. So I went over and I knew as soon as he quartered away from me, I could slip it in behind his scales and right into his brain, and he was dead instantly. Put on the most beautiful show ever for the camera, and here he lies. And I gotta give a huge shout out to Danko. There's a lot of flay knives out there but there's none like Danko. These knives are really cheap. They're not made cheaply. They just don't break your bank when you buy them. This whole packet of three knives, you get a uh, five inch bait knife, a seven inch flay knife, and a nine inch flay knife. It's less than 50 bucks. And if you go on DankoPliers.com and use promo code BlueGabe, you'll save another 10%. So anytime I get ready to flay a fish that has real big scales, I'll hold my knife at an angle. Come in here close. And I'll cut in just like that. Then I'll come right here and cut. This first initial cut down their back, I'm not sticking the knife in very far. Just a little bit, just to get the cut going. Then I come down their tail 
and right out. Now I turn my knife over. I really like this knife, show them right here on the table. It's real flexible. So I can bend it along those bones. A whole lot of fish right there. Whole lot of fish. I would be safe to say that this is a 16 pound hogfish. If you buy this at the market, it's probably $25 a pound. So 16 times 25 is what this fish would cost you if you bought it at the seafood place. If you bought it at a restaurant, way more than that. Now when you get up here to their pin bones, I like to bust through it. Now, this hogfish is a lot like a crappie. If you've ever cleaned a crappie, you know how they have that big strip under their guts. And I'm getting into it right now. See that? I just worked that flay perfectly around. Look at that. That's a serious flay. Now typically, I would cut it in half if I was using my normal 7-inch flay knife that I like. But this knife, I can do it. It's a pushing and pulling motion. And another cool thing about a hogfish, they don't have a bloodline like a mangrove snapper, so I can really pin it down tight. Look at this right here. I'm going to cut it right on the pin bone line. Now I do have a little bit of blood shot right here where I shot him. It's no big deal when I get in there in the kitchen and I start to cook it, cook it I'll just cut around it. Look at that beautiful play. Any of y'all that have ever had hogfish, right now you're like, give me some of that. If you gave that to someone here and said, oh, here's a hogfish fillet, they probably wouldn't believe you. They'd freak out. As y'all can see, we're not at our house in Stewart, Florida anymore. We are at Woods to Water Preserve in Steenahatchee, Florida. It's actually right in the middle of Steenahatchee in Chiefland, Florida. I had to think about that for a second. We're here hunting axis deer and tomorrow, Actually, first, let me just show you what an axis deer is. They're from Asia. That's one. And for some of you diehard fans, that's what they look like, their body. Obviously, that's their head. And for some of you diehard fans, you've already seen me here before, but it was like two years ago, right when I first started doing YouTube. Here is that big chunk of hogfish, and this is the section right where my shaft went in. I'm not wasting that. Tomorrow, I'm going to make shrimp hush puppies. And I'll actually cut this up in chunks and get just a little bit of blood out and make the rest in the hush puppies. That's what I'm going with, no Lowry's. So in this pan, I got just a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter, keeping it simple. Got some white rice and we are hungry. Now I did go hunting for axis this evening. Got my butt handed to me. Saw some, but didn't get a shot. Ooh, that smells good. One little scale, probably three minutes on each side. And this is going to be so good. Now I am gonna add just a little bit of minced garlic. I don't have it on super high because those flays are a little bit thick. I want them to cook nice and even. You guys have been fishing all afternoon and you're, whoa, son, you just set the hook. Oh, he's going back for it. Go back for it. This game is awesome. Oh gosh, that was like a son. What is this, Nintendo Wii? Yeah. I don't know. It's but just it's a fun. I'm it's bad just fishing. a bass fishing. Oh, come on. Fishing. He's going for it. Uh-oh, he's, oh, he's creeping. He's creeping. Come on, eat it. Oh, man. It's not the size I, of the worm. It's how you wiggle it, Jake. I'm so glad I picked oh, I, this I game. Thought, all, right, you're, all right, we got to move right. That looks like a good spot. Right in them reeds with this worm. Dang, you went off into the jungle. Ooh, ooh. Now, I've got a little bonus clip for all of you who stuck around to this point in the video. Some of y'all probably already thought that it the spear fishing was over, but it's not. 
So one of our dives, we were actually coming up and what I don't explain is how long it takes to come up from the bottom. A lot of times I'll just cut it from me, us being on the bottom to all of a sudden, you know, we're just below the surface and then we pop up. Well, there's about 10 minutes of time in between that. So Jason and I are coming up from a whole entire dive. We've got our hands full and a bunch of big trigger fish follow us up. trigger fish on this from shooting them on the way up. <laughs> you can't have more fun than this. You just can't. Ow! There's one more on the shaft. Oh, there was quite a few gags when we got down there. Whoo! Oh, burping when you burping when you tank dive is the best. So listen, sometimes I just cannot help myself. I can't come up and spend all that time just floating towards the surface, and when an opportunity presents itself, not take advantage of it. <laughs> we ate those trigger fish, and they were amazingly good too. So here's the deal. These are the tail pieces and closer to the ribs. These are the shoulders and the midsection. The reason I cut it all apart is so these big shoulders like this can cook perfectly, but the belly and the tail not overcook. And I nailed it. Look how good that is. Go ahead and put that piece right there. Abram, welcome back. Look at that. I mean, this hair though. This platinum blonde over here. Son. 
Bam. Uh. How is it, Jake? I guess the other ones aren't hungry. Yep. Mm -mm. How about the turtle? Oh, that's pretty fun. Should we show them a picture real quick of the turtle? Yeah. How big? How many pounds do you think it was? At least fifteen. You yeah. wanted to keep it and cook it? I wanted to. They're really good. Have you ever ate turtle? It's good, especially really in pickle good. juice. I know this fish smells good. Mmm. That's a wrap, folks. Tomorrow, we are headed to actual Steenahatchee, to the River Club. Putting the boat in the water and we're going scalloping. And the next day we're going shrimping. And we still have to kill an axis deer, so we got lots to go. I haven't been home from North Carolina for three days and we're already up here, which is five hours from home. But I do it all for you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. But right now, like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.